So, I just got done watching Uncharted. No, no, not that one. Yeah, that one. Now, it shouldn't come as a surprise when I say I was expecting the worst, but don't kill me for this. It was actually pretty good. Now, Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg are clearly miscasted in this movie in comparison to the video games. But I think that's where most people's problems come from. See, looking at this movie expecting the Drake and Sully were used to in the games isn't really ideal. As you know, this movie does provide something that we really didn't get in the video games, that being an origin story. Therefore, I give the casting a pass since this is a more early story of a younger Drake and Sully. Speaking of the casting, the performances in here all around were pretty good for what the film was asking. I think for the most part, these characters do correspond with this uncharted world. Tom Holland has his moments of similarity to his Peter Parker, but for the most part, he does a pretty good job as Nathan Drake. And he's also super fucking ripped. Mark Wahlberg is really the only kind of problem I have with this movie. See, his timing is pretty solid, and when that Boston accent comes through, it gets pretty funny. But my biggest problem is that he felt nothing like Sully. Yeah, he had his quippy comebacks here and there, but he doesn't give off that that Sully vibe, if you know what I mean. Ruben Fleischer directed this, who also directed the Venom movies and the Zombieland movies, and I've came to the conclusion that he makes his movies for everyone rather than the hardcore fans of any source material that he is kind of copying or replicating, and I'm fine with that. The pacing of this movie can be all over the place sometimes though. See, there are points in this movie where the pacing is legit like turning on hyperdrive. The premise of the movie is pretty straightforward, and the way Nathan and Sully meet is pretty lackluster and sloppy. But the movie does make up for it in the third act with a pretty entertaining set piece, and the movie as a whole was pure entertainment. There's also a theme within this film of like not trusting anyone or everyone, and I would say it's done pretty well for the most part. It does give you that feeling that at any moment someone could like backstab you or something like that expecting this movie to be a complete one for one with the source material though is just plain stupid see the video games have a lot of advantages such as hours of stories to tell in comparison to one film but i would say this movie still gives their small nods at the games even some entire sequences are ripped straight out of the video game and overall it has enough in it if if, if you know what I'm saying. It has enough inspiration, character moments, and story elements that clearly represent the Uncharted franchise that, you know, the hardcore fan base knows. Is this the most Uncharted movie though? No, it could have been more. But is this the usual video game movie mess that we all expect? Absolutely not. See, we've gotten to a point where most video game movies are actually just okay at least and that kind of makes me happy i guess tom holland and mark Wahlberg's buddy cop relationship in this film carry it though ultimately it's just all fun see as a fan of the video games i could isolate this movie as being its own thing and looking at it from that perspective really helps a lot with you know digesting this movie i had no problem with it and it has a lot more of those uncharted elements than i expected now, this isn't a big budget Nathan Fillion Uncharted fan film for every hardcore fan in existence, but it's also not disrespectful to the source material either. See, I had fun with this. It was a lot better than I expected, and to be quite honest, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing a sequel. And for that reason, I'm gonna give Uncharted a treacherous 74%.